welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Ali D'Andrea, and today, today is the last episode of my at-home bow build, my first bow build ever. For those of you who don't know, I have been working on my first bow build over the past couple of weeks. I have changed my string and cables. I have timed my cams, checked for cam lean, tied on my peep, my D-loop, cat whiskers. The cat whiskers were definitely the biggest fail. Today, I'm going to paper tune my rats, and then we will be pretty much ready to sight in and hit the ground running. I recently put out a arrow build video of the arrows that I will be using for whitetail season. I'm actually gonna have two arrow setups, spoiler alert. One for elk, one for whitetail. Let's get started. I got my hands on. <laughs> So before I shoot this through paper, I'm actually going to shoot it at the target just so I have a general idea of where it's going. I don't have an actual proper paper tuning setup. I'll show you that in a minute. I'm DIYing it a little bit. So I don't wanna hit a post or something. Anyway, I just wanna get a feel of where the arrow is going first but this is the first official arrow through my bow since I have built it out. That sounds fast. Nothing blew up, oh my God. Check it out. So here I have two little metal like plant hangers, a big piece of, I think it's called contractor's paper. And then I have my target behind it, but at a far enough distance that the arrow can pass all the way through. And then we'll have a reading on what the tear does. I'm actually gonna take a knee for this shot or these shots because I want to be sort of at level with the target. I don't wanna shoot downward because I don't want that to give me a funny reading. So here we go. It looks perfect. Oh my God, it's perfect. Oh, that's so cool. So this makes my life so easy. That is a perfect hole, exactly what you want. I know that my rest was paper tuned whenever I took it to the shop before, but I thought because I changed my arrows and because I changed the string and the drop away rest and all that stuff that it might have an impact on it, but things are shooting absolutely perfect, which means that all I need to do now is sight in my bow. It's really crazy to think that at the beginning of this journey, I had no clue what I was doing. I never even saw someone press a bow. I mean, I've been to bow shops a million times, but I've never actually watched someone press a bow or use a drawboard. And I learned how to do all of that with the internet. Like we're living in such a crazy time that you can teach yourself how to do almost anything online and also the fact that i'm able to share all of this with the world and to hear your comments and frankly listen to your feedback and sort of help give me motivation and inspire me like you guys inspire me to keep wanting to grow and to learn so this whole process has been awesome and with that there is going to be another bow build right around the corner over the next couple of weeks, I will be building out another bow. And it's not for Nick, <laughs> not yet. I might build out a bow for Nick in the future, but I have it right next to me. I'm really excited about this. I got my hands on. <laughs> so I got my hands on an Evo NXT 33. So it's a 33 inch axle to axle. I've never owned a PSD, but now I do. 
And because they had this 33 inch axle to axle bow, let me like take a couple steps back. I used to shoot a Hoyt Defiant 34, so a 34 inch axle to axle. And I really feel like my shooting was best with that bow. And as soon as I dropped down to a shorter axle to axle, I felt like my accuracy was just you know, falling off a little bit. And to be fair, during that time span, I never really dove into my archery form as much as I am now. Now that I'm really paying attention, I have just been yearning for a longer axle to axle bow again, because I feel like it makes my shot more stable. And even for me as a hunter, hunting out of a saddle, out of a tree stand, spot and stock for elk, like hiking, miles and miles and miles in the mountain with a big old bow. That's what I want. I just I just have been wanting that, you know? And nothing at all against my Avail. My Avail is an awesome bow, a rock solid bow. And I have had a blast hunting with that thing and building it out. But I'm really excited to build out this bow and to see how it shoots. And I'm just trying, I'm just, you know, trying things out and seeing how it goes. The cool thing with this bow is you'll be able to see the process from start out of the box to finish the whole shebang. I think I'm just kind of rambling at this point, but basically I've got another bow build on the horizon. I'm excited to take you guys along with me and to share it with you. And I'm just like, I'm just excited to keep getting better. You guys really inspire me to continue to work harder and to continue to grow and to continue to learn because it really does feel like a community. So like, I don't know quite how to explain this. I love doing a lot of things alone, but when you do things with friends or family, it makes it a better experience. It's like, you want to be better for other people. At least I very much have that feeling. And of course I want to be better for myself, but there is something to be said about sharing this with people and connecting with people. So here I am blabbering again, but thank you for watching and thank you for commenting and being part of this. Anyways, okay, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.